Hello! Welcome to Squid Essays. Inking your academic pen. My name is Julie and I will be your instructor as we read through Strategic Management Module 6. The article source is embedded in the video description below. Feel free to read along. Please note that you can get a custom, plagiarism-free essay for as little as $10 a page at Squid Essays. The link is in the description. Today, CACI has to maintain its competitive position that forces the company to the permanent progress. However, the progress is impossible without the implementation of effective, grand strategies. In this respect, on taking into consideration the current position of CACI and its potential, it is possible to focus on three grand strategies, introduction of innovations, preservation of the company's status of a state contractor, and focus on the effective human resource management. First of all, it should be said that the orientation on the introduction of innovations is strategically important for the company because it opens larger opportunities for the company to grow and, in regard to the orientation of the company, on the supply of its products and services to the state, it is important to offer new and progressive products and services in order to get state contracts. In addition, the introduction of innovations provides the possibility for creation of new niches on the market where the competition is low and, as CACI takes the leading position in these niches, it can define the further development of the market. But this strategy heavily relies on the effect of human resource management, without which this strategy is likely to fail if the company has a high personnel turnover, for instance. The preservation of the status of a state contractor is also of a paramount importance. It is worth mentioning the fact that this strategy is highly dependent on the ability of the company to introduce innovations and offer new products to its customers, among which the state plays a particularly important role. In fact, the orientation on state contracts provides the company with a possibility to develop a long-run strategy and plans of its further growth because state contracts are highly reliable and, as a rule, they are supposed to be long-term contracts. On the other hand, these contracts can limit the distribution of the company's innovations in the private sector of the market because products and services that are related to the national security, defense or intelligence, solutions are secret and, therefore, cannot be accessible to mass customers. Finally, the human resource management is probably the key factor that defines the success of the strategies discussed above. Today, the company cannot succeed if it is unable to employ well-qualified professionals who can develop new technologies and products. This means that CACI should not only employ well-qualified professionals but it should also be able to recruit professionals which can invent new products and technologies and, therefore, maintain the highly competitive position of the company on the market. However, among the variety of strategies which can be successfully applied in CACI, it is possible to recommend focusing on the quality management. The implementation of this strategy means that the company should focus not only on the quality of products and services it offers to its customers, but also on the quality of the production process itself and even on the quality of the relationship between the personnel of the company. In such a way, it will to achieve consistent progress and maintain the competitive position of CACI on the market. Thank you for taking your time to listen to me. I hope you enjoyed learning about Strategic Management Module 6 as much as I did. Kindly remember that you can get a custom, plagiarism-free essay at Squid Essays for as little as little as $10. The link is in the description. See you next time.